Leading up to this rain that we hear coming down right now in New Haven, it was a hot, humid day out there. It kind of felt heavy when you walked out the door. It did. It was thick out there. Hopefully, you got to stay inside and cool off. But News 8's Tina Detail is still out there tonight. She joins us live from New London with more on the heat and potential storms. Tina. Yeah, you know what, as Fred said, no thunderstorms here yet, but you can almost feel it in the air, hot and muggy. Almost makes this fountain here look very refreshing, but remember, you're not supposed to go under it. Shenacosset Golf Course in Groton has 70 of these golf carts, and when it's hot and humid, they are in high demand. Most people would rather walk. But if you're going to play and try to focus, it's really difficult. Win Bohanan is playing in the Connecticut Senior Open and knows how to keep cool. Lots of water. So much water that you think you're going to be upset, but you still have to keep drinking. The fairways and greens also need lots of water in this weather. Anywhere that the irrigation doesn't touch is pretty much burnt out right now. That's not for the day. Danny Schuler says as long as he drinks lots of liquids, he can keep going, but he feels it at the end of the day. You know, that's when it really kicks in, but as long as I'm moving, I'm okay. If you think it's hot outside, take a look at this thermometer at Mango's Wood-Fired Pizza Restaurant in Old Mystic Village. It's a little bit of a fight to get through, but at the end of the day, you know, you make it through. How hot is that? Oh, uh, we keep it around 800 degrees. But Sam Lebeck says at least it's a dry heat. To keep their customers cool, they actually have three air conditioners going right now, and they just opened a brand new ice cream shop across the way. Mango's homemade ice cream can cool folks down as well as the vault coffee roasters next door. This is called the Black Velvet. It is a cold brew coffee concentrate with vanilla syrup and half and half. Sitting under the tree and there's a nice cool breeze. Scott and Susan Hull found this cool spot at Yukon's Avery Point in Groton. I call this our happy place. It sure is. Now, the breeze and the shade, that really makes a big difference. Now, I spoke to Ted Osak, who told me that he played golf in Farmington this morning. He says by 10 o'clock, it was already 90 degrees there. We're live in New London. Tina Detell, News 8.